Okay, welcome back and welcome to this next lesson uh, in our course. So we want to move uh, to the idea of using Go with PostgreSQL. We want to be able to do uh, database operations via the Go programming language. Okay, so let's look at uh, how we go about doing that. So uh, let me come here. Okay. All right, so um, in a terminal, I went ahead and I created a database. All right, and so uh, the name of the database is quote box, and the username is also quote box. And the password is the same uh, pound swordfish that I like to use for these examples. Okay, so what you need to do, uh, you need to go ahead and you need to create this database so that you can follow along in with this video, since you should know how to create a database. All right, just make sure the name is quote box. So what we'll be doing, uh, we'll be um, creating a table that allows us to store quotes. Um, for example, uh, just do it or uh, seize the moment, right? Those types of quotes. All right, so uh, let me... Um, Open the let's see, the table. Okay, so name of my table is uh, quotation quotations. Uh, it has a quotation ID, an insertion date, a, an author name. We wrote the quote. Who is the quote attributed to? A category for the quote. Is it? success is it about life is it about love and of course the actual quote okay so notice i've made everything not null uh, the information has to be in there and when we insert our quote uh, the insertion date is automatically set to now okay which will also include uh, the time Okay, and finally, of course, we have a quotation ID, which is of type serial, which is our primary key. And I go ahead and I make a sample entry. Um, insert into quotations, author name, category, and quote. Notice I did not have to supply a quotation ID, and I did not have to supply an insertion date because they have defaults. Okay, so what I do have to supply is the author name, the category, and the quote. So let me put that down here. Okay, Mahatma Gandhi is the author. Uh, life is the category, and the quote is actually learn as if you will live forever, live like you will die tomorrow. Okay, so let's save that. And I want to read in uh, this file. So we know how to do that. Quotations. That SQL. Oh, okay, I went ahead of myself. Uh, I should have logged in. Let me log in. I already logged in, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, it's on the other tab here. Yeah. Okay. Quotations, is that right? Let's see. Oh, quotation. Okay, so um, of course, I already had this table, so I decided to drop it and recreate it. So let's um, let's check 
my table. Okay. And let me just type Q to get out of this, right? But we have everything we need, ID, insert and date, and so on. So let me just type Q. Okay. All right, so my table was inserted uh, correctly. Uh, a row was inserted, sorry, uh, my table was created correctly and a row was inserted correctly. So let me just verify. Uh, select um, author name. Well, let's select all first from quotations. Okay. And if I only want to see uh, the quote, oops, Q. All right. When these, uh, when the text is too long, too big, uh, sort of opens up in a text editor. Okay, so just type Q to uh, leave when you're done. So I could say select um, author name, or let's select quote from quotations. So, how many how many quotes do we have? Um, select count the quote column. I could have used a star as well, all right. But like since I'm only asking for how many quotes, best I use the quote column. All right, I have one row. All right, so. Um, by the way, this schema, uh, this uh, table structure will be provided to you. Um, you don't need to manually type it. I will provide this quotation.sql file for you. Um, it helps speed up the process. Okay, so now we have our um, database set up. And so what we want to do now, uh, and that's step one, okay? Step one, we need to actually create the table. We need to create a database, and then we need to create the table or tables that we will need for our application, All right? So we've done step one. We have a database and we have a quotations table. All right, so what I want to do now um, is to simply uh, prepare to write our SQL code. So I'm going to make a directory named quotation. All right, and I'll do the usual stuff. Um, okay, I'll go into quotation, nothing is in there. I'm going to make an empty file, main.go. All right, and then I'm going to create my module. So go mod init. I'm going to use my last name, my first name, .net, followed by the name of the directory, quotation, okay? All right, and then it's telling me I need to do go mod tidy, so let's do that, go mod tidy, okay, to make sure everything is synced up, okay? All right, so I have everything uh, set, and so, uh, I will see you, I'll, this is the end of this video, I'll see you in the next one where we actually uh, write code in our main.go file, which allows us to begin the process of accessing our database via the Go programming language. I'll see you in that uh, video.